We have men graduating from seminaries, men being ordained, that have never given serious thought to who God is or serious study with regard to the attributes of God. Because of that, the church is rampant with an ignorance concerning who is God. Now, let me read a passage for you that I think is, is extremely important to show the impact that ignorance with regard to the attributes of God can have. He says, but to the wicked God says, what right have you to tell of my statutes and to take my covenant in your mouth? For you hate discipline and you cast my words behind you. When you see a thief, you're pleased with him and you associate with adulterers and you let your mouth loose in evil and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your mother's son. These things you have done and I kept silent. Now here's, here's the text. You thought I was like you. See, we have this tendency always to create a God in our own image and then worship the image we've made. It's a self-worship. And so we will commit sins because we think those sins aren't that bad because we think God is like us. So when the knowledge of God is given, it destroys those false ideas but not only that, it cleans up our morality and causes us to act in a different way.